Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots cleans their pedal to destroy the evil forces of... Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special collection showcase we're going to be looking at the Transformers 4th movie, Age of Extinction. This is a special request for Pop Stelliana and I hope they like it very much. So, what we're going to have a look here is my Mint and Seal card or Mint and Seal box movie 4 figures. Um, I don't actually own any loose um, apart from one Voyager Drift and I'll explain that in a second. Um, I'm going to start with these gift sets at the top. So we've got the evolution of Optimus Prime. Uh, by the time we'd got to this movie, this was basically the last movie, Evolution of Grimlock, a uh, range of toys that I actually made an effort to collect. I've got a few of the last night, but nothing mega. I'd pretty much, as you can tell, run out of space by then. Right, so let's start with the normal deluxe waves of figures. So here we go. So we've got Wave 1, Bumblebee, Crosshairs, Slug, and scorn so these are just the normal standard deluxe figures we're then going to come down and we've got straff drift slash that was wave two wave 2.5 was locked down and then i've got an arms micron i've got a couple of these the japanese exclusive dispenser and jolt there as well and then I think they were called Power Battlers, apart from, sorry, Snarl. Snarl was a normal deluxe one as well. Then we've got some Power Battlers, um, and they were all about deluxe size as well, but a bit more sim simplified. So we've got Scorn, Grimlock, Lockdown. And then we've got Autobot Hound, Straff, Drift. And there's even a Viacom there as well. Some more power battlers we've got are Crosshairs. Let me just get him in sight. Crosshairs, Slug, Galvatron, and Optimus Prime. Coming back up to some more of the Arms Micron exclusives. There's Jolt and Dispenser again, which you've already seen. Uh, there is Stinger. And there is Hotshot. There was a US version of this, but this is the um, Japanese version. And, oh, there's Protoform Optimus Prime as well. Now, there's a normal, there's a Bumblebee. And now what we've got, these were Toys R Us exclusives, I think, the Evolution packs. So we've got a mini Evolution there of Straff. The same with Slug. And then the same with Bumblebee. And then the final things I've got of this particular toy line is the Voyagers. Optimus Prime, Hound, let's try and move along, Galvatron, Drift. I've actually got a loose one of him, and the reason why I've got a loose one of him is because I damaged the box in transit, and I really like that figure anyway. And then we've got Slug, Grimlock, and then the final three things I've got from the Age of Extinction toy line are the leader class figures. So we've got Grimlock, We've got the normal Optimus Prime there. And there is, of course, the first edition. I've not had that out the box, but everybody slates it. I've not seen it at all. Is it as bad as they say? Leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to know why it's so bad. But there you go. As requested, Age of Extinction, toy line, just the ones that I've got. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment and don't forget to subscribe.